turn him off and turn you guys back on. The thing is like going around and around would not fix itself. I don't know what he was saying. But I got directions on how to get to the lake. I'm like, how do you get to Big Lake? He's like, you're in Big Lake. I'm like, no, the Big Lake. Jeez. So he's like, go straight here. And I said, they're going to have signs if I'm not supposed to drive on it, right? <laughs> he's like, I, yeah, I think so. There. And then my orientation got locked. Oh, goodness gracious. Hi, I'm glad you guys are back. I'm so sorry. They had, had a huge glitch. I don't know what was going on. Thanks for coming back, guys. It was, uh, I got to Big Lake, I got to a gas station, the lender called, I talked to him, I had to get directions to the lake, I'm back. <laughs> then it wouldn't like load forever, then I got a quarry in it the wrong way, so try it again. You missed the guy shaking the bumper on my truck, shaking the whole truck like, I'll take this. I'm like, you can have my dented bumper, I don't care, what are you going to give me for you, drunk? <laughs> so he said, go straight down here and I should come out at North Shore. In North Shore, he said, yes, there's a restaurant on the lake. I think he thinks it's open in the winter time. And he says he hasn't been out here for quite a few years, so. Yes, it's glitchy. I don't know if it's. No, I didn't get my train horn hooked up. I'm down here in Wasilla. I'm not in Fairbanks. Might just have to hire someone to go put them on because. Pretty easy. You know how easy jobs are, right? Oh, that's like a that's a 20 minute job. Oh yeah, but tools and parts and time and <laughs> getting around to it <laughs> take way longer. Okay, so this is North Shore. North Shore mini storage. I think it's own little town out here. Well, it is. It's Big Lake, I guess. I don't know. He said, "Go straight till I hit the water."
gotta, I gotta figure out how to get back off of this thing too. This is great for like riding dirt bikes and stuff on. This is really, uh, really crackly. There's cars parked out here, so it must be all right. If I fall through, you guys are gonna be here for it. I'm gonna be falling through and drowning. Should I take my seatbelt off? I should take my seatbelt off, huh? These are all the houses on the front. Oh, I wonder if I can ask this lady who's walking. There's no signs here telling me where I'm going. It's 2004. Somebody walking on snow machine tracks. It looks like we could go ride horses on this thing and wander around on the lake. It actually looks really fun. I gotta get my gal pals together and see if we want to go walk around on the lake with horses. We can take all those snow machine tracks. There's no big holes on here. I'm gonna go back. I can't tell if that's the restaurant or not. I don't know where we're headed, but I am on Big Lake right now. I'll send you a link for your GoPro, okay. Oh, do YouTube. Dude, Eric, I've been trying to hook this thing up to, uh, the whole time I was getting my hair done, I was doing like the live streams and stuff. So uh, guys, I am in Big Lake on Big Lake. So I'm on the lake and we're going over to this island here. I can't tell if this is the house or the restaurant. It's cracking pretty good under me. Well, it doesn't look open if this is a restaurant, so I don't know. It's a pretty steep shore lift. This is a parking lot. Nova Scotia, Cal Canada. Yeah, I don't know if that's the, I don't know where the restaurant is. I've never, I've been out on Big Lake one time for dirt bike races. I've never been out here any other time. I'd like to know how to shortcut and get back to town, but I'm not sure. I don't know the lake. This is such a big lake that you can get lost out here so easy. See, that's another island with a house on it over there. I wouldn't be scared. Yeah, it's crapping pretty good and it's warm. It's 30 degrees today, so. Might not be the safest time to be out here on the lake. Can you see the, uh, the crack in the ice on the lake there? Why aren't, you, why aren't you scared of driving a truck across the lake? Oh, because we do that normally at home. That's how we get places. I actually haven't been out here though. Get out of there. <laughs> I drive a semi with a load on ice. I think a pickup's fine. There's a truck parked over there with a trailer. Parked out here, I think we're good. I don't know where it goes though. I guess we're exploring Big Lake together, guys another road. Ooh, that almost looks like the restaurant. I can't tell where the restaurant is or they're just houses on islands. Epilepsy, no good. That stuff's terrible. I need a helicopter. I'm not ice fishing. It looks like somebody else is. I was just checking it out because I want to ride horses around here. What I'd like to do is ride horses to the restaurant on the island out here, but I don't know which island or where. You guys are keeping track so I can figure out how to get back off of here, aren't you? You have no clue where I'm at. What I should do is look it up on the GPS and see if I'm out in the water somewhere. Baby's good. Yeah, I have GPS, but I'm using it to live stream you guys so I can't use it. I gotta figure out something else to live stream so I can use my phone so it doesn't keep freezing. This one goes up to the houses there. It's like a driveway to your house off the lakefront. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't really been out here on the lake, so this is kind of neat. I know Big Lake is huge, though. I don't know where it ends up, though. Those are the icy hair cracking. Oh, you're gonna tell me how the rules work on ice? That's cute. I'm just gonna get lost is what's gonna happen. The only problem is I don't see anyone out here. Oh, cause it's a, it's a weekday too, so I'm thinking the weekday is everybody's at work. I can't read comments, I'm stuck. 
staring at the sun. Where are we gonna go from here? How the hell, where's the island? This, to the right, looks like it goes to the shore. And the left looks like it goes back along the lake front here. I gotta find the island, guys. Where's the island? You have two iPhones? <laughs> Surely there's a different way besides iPhones to do live stream. <laughs> I got my window down in case I gotta jump out. <laughs> what are they doing? Somebody's watching you saying, what are they doing? Woo! I'm right there. Tablet. I know, I was gonna get a service put on my tablet, but it was uh, not a service. It was uh, Wi-Fi only. Well, that didn't work. Somewhere they have, um, somewhere they have dirt bike races out here. Oh my gosh! The Islander. Freaking got palm trees on it. You guys gotta see this. This might be the restaurant called The Islander. If this is the restaurant, that's cool. Hey, can anyone Google to see where the restaurant is on Big Lake? In Big Lake, Alaska? these palm trees. Bum diggity. Here's the dock. It's not looking very open. Minnesota, hi. Well, let's keep driving around. This looks like a, looks like the Islanders, possibly the restaurant. I'm not sure. I have to ask my friend Tabitha. Maybe she'll ride out here with us. We could ride horses on this easy. Okay, you can take all those snow machine tracks out across the snow. Probably packed down enough. Alright. Good. Nice day for a drive on the lake. I don't have a boat, but we can go out on the lake anyway. <laughs> oh man. We're kind of fun! I'm glad I brought you guys out here. This is awesome. Oh, there's another car over there driving on the lake, so I'm not alone. Yeah, I think it's that we need to go get the horses, Dave. I gotta call my friend Tabitha. Or me and Lizzie. Might be a little slippery. This looks like so much freaking fun. Oh, so the Iditarod stuff yesterday and I really want to do the Ferrandi but I don't know if I've missed it or not because if I haven't I want to go in and, and participate in Ferrandi. I missed the beginning of the I did ride yesterday and I think I'm missing most of Ferrandi which I really wanted to make a point to go to so I'm sad I missed it. It's what? Or 5121 South Bug Lake. Is it the palm trees? I see the address, but I don't know how you have an address on an island. And I don't know how you get directions on made roads. Or we plow random roads. Good luck going, taking a right, taking a left, and getting to the island. You see, there's another building on an island right in front of us. That other car that's driving around out here. Oh, I just need to stop people and ask them what's going on around here. How is ice so bumpy? Well, I guess this is your little replay to Ice Road Truckers. I'm driving across the lake. We gotta dramatize it, okay? We're driving across the lake. We can fall through at any second. Do you hear the ice cracking? If we go too fast, we might make a wave and it will crash up in front of us. But we won't go that fast, so we don't worry. Well, I don't know. I didn't see any signs saying speed limit out here, so I'm pretty sure 95 is legal. <laughs> what are you gonna do, crash? It's a lake. When we do ice road runners, these lanes are like maybe 20 times as big as this. So like, you could literally, you put it at an idle, and you just go, and you could literally crawl in your sleeper and take a nap. What are you gonna do, run off the road? Who 
here's the road that goes to the left and the right. So if I go to the left here, maybe we'll end up back on the shore, North Shore, I guess it is. Well, I'm hoping anyway, because we're kind of, I'm hoping we're just doing a big circle. And now I'm not sure. Didn't I turn down somewhere around here? That's a snow machine track. That's not even a road. frozen into the ice. It looks like, like a little like pontoon boat or what are those called? They look like house fairies or something. Shut up about the donuts. I am not eating donuts. What are you talking about? Nice looking mountain. Yeah, I don't know. There we are. Do donuts? Seriously? It's not really big enough to do donuts. I'll end up in a snowbank and I ain't got nobody to rescue me. Hmm, do we come in this way? See, there's the ice where it comes. Looks like somebody got stuck there. Huh. Bye, where are you going? It's different. Does the compass work? Yeah. I'll have a compass. It's not like I came out here prepared. If my truck falls through the ice and I'm stuck out here, I'm gonna die. Except for all the houses that are around. Hi, Pennsylvania. I'm in Alaska on a lake. Hello from Big Lake. On Big Lake. Guys, I don't know where I came from. How do I get off this damn lake? This is the way I got on here? I can't remember now. I'm lost. Should I backtrack? <laughs> yeah, it's a little piece of ice roads for y'all. There's the Berkshire Marinas over there to my left. How'd I get down here? Where'd I go? None of this is looking familiar. Mm, I don't know. Here comes somebody with a plow. Oh, we're gonna hit and the wave is gonna crash under the ice and blow up between us! Ah! <laughs> Dude, I don't know where I'm at. There's a snow machine out there. Well, at least I know cars are allowed on it. Alright guys, we gotta figure out how to get off this dang lake. We go get the horse trailer. Go riding. I gotta call my buddies. Watch the video, what? I can't read you guys. Hello, we're all going with me. Yes, you're all going with me. We're good. If I go down, y'all going down. Ha ha ha. Fall through the ice, you fall through the ice. Here's a snow go coming. Well, this looks like one way off. I don't think this is the way off that I came on because there was a ice fishing tent. So I'm pretty sure wherever I'm coming off is not where I caught on. Well, I'm lost. Yeah, definitely not. I came down through a park. Well, oh well, at least I found a shore. Where's Caleb? He went to work. He's in Fairbanks. He's heading north today. I'm here, I'm staying here for baby. All right, gotta come up on the shore here. There we go, I'm on land, woohoo, I didn't die. I do have to look up my GPS because I have no flipping clue where I am. A woman <laughs> to get lost. Oh, hush up, Patrick. Where's Caleb? Where's the man? 
<laughs> okay, hold on guys. You guys should see, I just screenshotted where I'm at. I think I'm down to the, to the uh, right of where I got on, from what I can tell. But I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to the bar or if I should go home. So now I'm more lost than ever because now I'm on land. Yeah, I was checking the GPS. I'm back now. I gotta check the GPS again to get this out. Plug you guys. the audio plugged in here. Well that was interesting. I just don't quite know where I'm at. I had to plug you in the GPS to figure out where I came on the shore. <laughs> Wisconsin high. See this is what I love about Alaska. I'm telling you right now. Four wheelers on the road, side by sides, horses, cars on the lake. I freaking love Alaska. I don't want anything to change you got people from like anchorage moving out to the valley going like we don't like all this stuff going on it's like we'll move back to anchorage instead of trying to make wasilla anchorage i like where like literally one year i have me and my friend are training sky to cart and we're on the road instead of in the ditch because they're in the cart so we're trotting down the middle of the road and we pass and there's a car or a pickup truck in the ditch for buying so i'm like this is alaska where the horses are on the road and the cars are in the ditch <laughs> like i love it but, yeah horses are freaking awesome oh my gosh caleb says it's 40 in healy that's insane i have to tell him i just went on an adventure on the lake so caleb caleb's not quite quite in fairbanks yet he's in healy he's on his way I got to get the girls together. This is way too cool. I got to look up the restaurant on the island or something. Okay, that was our little ice road adventure. Got 83 of you. Man, I hate to cut you off at 83. I want to call some girlfriends and see if they want to go riding. How about instead of staring at nothing, now that we did our little ice road adventure, I figure out if girls want to go riding, we'll load up, we'll take some horses and go out there, meet you out there. Um, Adrian promised me a facial. I've never had a facial before. She goes, you need a facial. I'm like, I probably do. 31 in Talkeetna. Yeah, it's 40 in freaking Healy. Rode a sport bike. Uh, if sport bike, you mean a dual sport, I have one. I didn't go anywhere. Uh, I will definitely, I will go get the other, the charger that I can hook up into the phone and just keep it charged so I can live all the way out there. But I want to call my friend here that lives in Big Lake and see if she wants to go out on Big Lake. Oh boy, what do we got going on here? Some snowblower in the middle of the road. Oh look, he can turn his tires, that's cool. Well, geez, person, give me a minute. Don't be behind me trying to go around. Go around me then, douche knuckle, or nozzle, or however you say it, what's funny. Baton Rouge, use Bluetooth headphones. No, cause you guys say I sound like I'm in a tunnel every time I use the Bluetooth headphones. Ooh, I can get that little chest mount. You guys are a horse ride with me. Dude, that'd be bomb. That'd be bomb. I'm taking you for a horse ride. I need to get a second way to stream because I want to shoot videos too. Oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go for now so I can gather up my posse. See what we're going to go do. I'll see you guys later today. If and when I get on the lake with horses, if it's not today, I'm hoping it will be tomorrow. And if I don't do that, I'm going to be in the barn sitting with baby. I'll probably do a little live, but I'm going to literally be doing baggies and minerals. It's going to be boring. A day in the life vlog. 
Well, this isn't my normal every day. It's been quite a few years since I've been on Big Lake. You guys prompted me to go. Seven to three. I'll see you guys in a bit later.